Hello everyone, I am Rishkesh. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss on Capgemini interview questions. As everyone know, Capgemini has started sending interview mails to shortlisted students. First of all, let me clear that Capgemini has just started sending mails. So wait for three to four days. You will definitely get mail. Okay, don't get panic. So in this video, we are going to discuss on IMP topics for technical round. Question asked to non CSIT student. Main important part will be this. Okay, the questions asked to non CSIT student. That is electrical, electronics, civil, mechanical. Okay, CSIT interview preparation. Uh, also, you will discuss on that and previous year questions and how to crack the how to crack the interview. Okay, so first, basically for non CSIT students, you have to prepare oops concepts later on one project that can be your mini project or final year project okay first important you you must have at least completed one project okay one mini project at least one mini project okay because they will definitely ask you to tell me about the project that you have completed even you are not from csit background okay for uh, electrical and electronics for diploma students uh, you have one benefit that you have already completed one project in your diploma so you can tell that project also okay and uh, for our civil mechanical you have to at least do one not more just one mini project okay one subject from your branch okay one subject one subject is very essential for electrical electronic circuit basically they can ask the questions from their circuits and from mechanical you have to prepare one subject from your own branch okay next is one language okay you must know one language at least no need to know two three language at least one language you must be perfect or at medium level okay so one language that can be python c java any okay but one language is necessary why do you want to enter it sector this will question will be asked for non csit questions because you have studied three years for mechanical or electrical electronics then why you are switching to it sector you must give a correct answer this because this is the tricky question where they can select and directly reject you many students got rejected here because they are unable to give proper answer you can just say that at the time of uh, admission i don't have any mentor or someone no one guided me properly that's why i took the mechanical or whatever your branch or you can say that i have my friend in csit from second year i saw him doing many projects and i got interest in that okay so i started learning the codings and that's the reason why i want to enter the it sector don't say that in uh, mechanical there are no jobs or in electrical electronics there are no jobs that's why i am switching because in each and every sector there are jobs available just you must have that much potential to get that job okay so better you try saying this answer that i told just okay and next dbms and sql for csit basically they can ask this for it uh, sorry uh, electrical and electronics also so prepare ec and entc student also prepare dbms and sql for mechanical and civil no need to prepare this okay so i think everyone got this oops concept first lecture on one project uh, one subject from your branch language uh, why you want to enter it sector and dbms sql for sql the same one subject from your branch that is for csit you can say dbms sql uh, there are like uh, or you can say again cn is there if you have prepared cn os is there okay ca cao is there many subjects are there which one you have preferred you can say basically i will say dbms sql os or cn even you can add cloud sorry yeah? i miss cloud you can add cloud also okay cloud computing so i think everyone got this so let's move to the next slide oops concept so i will clear all the points that i mentioned in brief okay so first in oops concept what are the questions they can ask what are the four basic concept of oops okay first question those are encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism you will get all questions okay these are the questions you will get the answers of this question in my previous video okay that i have mentioned already i will give the link of this playlist in description also i have already made three videos okay capgemini interview questions part one part two and 
but sir, even this cap gmail result declared video uh, after 2 to 3 minutes i have started the interview questions okay go and watch this series i you will get nearly 25 to 30 different questions which will help you in your interview okay so first what are the four basic concepts those are encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymerization later on they can ask what is encapsulation in the brief or what is abstraction in brief what is inheritance and what is like that they are they will ask what are the types of inheritance so types of inheritance are single then multiple multi-level hybrid and hierarchical okay five types are there okay so in brief then they can again ask uh, what is multiple inheritance or difference between multiple and multi-level so you have to prepare briefly just don't read the definitions okay they can ask deep questions also okay so prepare properly uh, next uh, real time and coding examples of these okay what is the example of encapsulation abstraction like that they can ask for both real time and coding example so you have to prepare for both okay uh, again sorry by mistake i took this question again type of inheritance then overloading and overriding are the examples of polymorphism okay these are the examples of polymorphism like static polymorphism comes in overloading sorry overloading comes in static polymorphism and overriding comes in dynamic polymorphism so you have to prepare the definitions and what are the example for those okay the exception handler what the exception handler do exception handler removes the error so you have to properly prepare for this also and what are the constructor and destructors in oops okay read this also also i will provide a link okay just a give me okay okay see as you can see here you will get all questions okay like what is method these are the 46 questions they that they ask in interview okay like see multiple inheritance multi-level i will also provide the link of this in my description okay so i think everyone clear with dope's concept next language okay this they will ask if you prefer python then they will ask why not java they will ask the difference between python and java okay they can ask the difference between c and java i have already answered these questions in my previous video okay question based on language like if you choose uh, uh python then they will ask difference between tuple and list or uh, what is indexing okay just i am mentioning the questions for python uh, what is slicing okay uh, later on what is difference between array okay all questions in python or they can give you the one or two codes okay just like uh, write the program for fibonacci write the program for anything prime number and strong number they can ask this and tell uh, ask you to uh, show the code or uh, tell me the algorithm yeah with tell me the logic okay <laughs> you, at least you must know one of them at least you must know the logic algorithm yeah, yeah else you must know the code okay and then project okay if you say that you know python and you have done the project in java just by copying your friend's project that won't be good for you okay you will get directly rejected if you are doing these types of stuff okay so prefer the the language and project must be in the same language if you are saying i am good with the python your project must be in the python only or you must say that yes i have at least basic knowledge of java okay which i have used in my project so prepare well don't mismatch okay and why this language just if you are saying i have learned only java then he will definitely ask why not python or why not c why only java if you are doing only python then he will ask why c why not java okay so you must have a proper answer that if you are choosing python then you must know that python is very easy language it takes less space it takes less uh, uh, uh what uh, it requires less code also okay so these are the answer for if you choose the python okay so you have to prepare for both c java and okay i didn't mention the c plus plus also is there you can pay for that also okay so next is dbms and sql for cs it uh, ec and electronics okay you have to prepare this for ec and electronics if you don't know this but you must say that yes i am very quick learner i am willing to learn dbms and sql if there is a need at my job so okay you have to always 
your answer must be always positive okay you can't say i don't know so I, i can't answer just say i don't know sir but i will definitely learn this because if this is important i am willing to learn as i told in my intro i am very quick learner so i will definitely learn it very fastly okay next what is dbms you have to mention the uh, dbms uh, definition and the advantages okay acid properties so acid properties are atomicity consistency isolation and durability okay so basically acid stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability first you have to tell that and later you have to uh briefly tell for acidity that a stand for atomicity then what is atomicity what is consistency what is isolation and what is durability later on what is primary key and foreign key it comes under sql so you have to tell the definition and what are the basic uses of this okay then commands in sql and write the query like uh, you tell they will ask the what are the commands in sql then you will say that uh, create update delete then there is one more uh, drop many are there okay insert if you are saying this like they will ask then write the query to create a table uh, using a uh, table name student and the value is this this so you must know the query also because they will ask write the query share your screen and or in comment was write the query for update like i want to update the age of student so name is this this and i want that this is the age then i want 40 so you must know the queries also don't do the exercises like just i will read and go you must have the practical knowledge also okay so next what is normalization basically normalization reduces the redundancy okay redundancy means duplication redundancy and uh, dependency okay by organizing tables okay then what is rdbms relational database management system you have to tell the full form of rdbms then define okay i don't think these are diff, uh, hard questions just you must have the knowledge okay then what is in, an index in sql okay you must have to read the index index is basically like uh, pages right one page second page those are the index just you have to define properly in a sql language okay then what are the types of joins there are many joins uh, like uh, left outer join left outer right outer then a uh, full join okay cross join is there okay many joins are there inner join is there okay so you must know all the types of joins and what are their works okay and difference between and delete and drop command okay if you are saying there are this this command then what are the difference because delete is used to just where delete is used to delete one row or two rows a drop will delete total table okay this is the difference you must know the difference also so just don't go the theory do the practice and go practically okay so these are the basic questions asked on dbms okay next data structure csi to students you have to prepare data structure in any condition because capgemini is giving you four lpa okay for 4 lpa they will ask data structure definitely they will ask okay for 3.5 lpa you can say that okay they will not ask or whatever but for all the companies who are giving you 4 lpa or above 4 lpa you must know the data structure okay so first what is data structure data structure in name data structure means organizing data in memory what are the types there are two types primitive oi oh, it is primitive and non primitive so you must know the this okay and difference between array list okay array are the collection of similar data types where list is the collection of nodes okay in uh, sorting methods in ds basically there are many but we use a uh, few like bubble sort is there insertion sort is there later on merge sort quick sort selection sort at least you must know five to six sort okay heap sort these are the commonly used sorting methods okay you must know these six at least okay so searching methods there are two searching methods okay 
first is uh, linear search where second is binary search okay there are basic just to learn the definition and if we ask you to you must know the how to do the searching by using this okay then difference between stack and uh, stack and queue stack follows last in first out and uh, queue follows first in first out it has only one end for insertion it has two end i have answered this questions in my last video okay go and check the you will get all the answers there what is binary tree what is a wheel tree okay just i will provide the link for this also okay you can learn ds from basic to total okay here okay like see uh, ds tutorial array what is list stack queue tree ds graph even they have mentioned differences like what is difference between array list stack queue c so what is difference between array list you will definitely you can easily learn from this site okay i will provide the link of this java t point in my description also okay i think everyone got this so basically this was the video okay best of luck for your interview subscribe to my channel to get the updates for all of campus drives 2022 also i will update all the interview questions okay just uh, now my friends uh, interview schedule on 15 January he if he complete the interview i will take one video of with him and i will upload that so you can get what the what are the questions they are asking and you will get a clear idea okay what are the questions that and even there is one also question that tr and hr is going to uh, happen on the same day or different day they don't have mentioned that so i can't say that they will be on the same day or i want i am not going to confuse you so i won't say anything about that but prepare for at least tr and go do google about capgemini and learn something about the capgemini that what are the, what is the company uh, what are the basic rules how how is the nature okay so that will be even in tr sometimes they ask why capgemini or what are your strengths what are your qualities okay prepare for input interview if you have any, if you have any doubt doubt ask me in comment box okay have a good day best of luck for your interview